I am going back to the library. <clears throat> back to the back to the courthouse too, I think, today. <sighs> Just for a couple more questions. I got a nervousness about me because tomorrow is court day. Court day number three. So <clears throat> it's gonna be stressful. And that's the advantage of having a uh, lawyer represent me because they're supposed to take the stress out of this. But <laughs> I got a stress of paying $6,000 for that stress to be removed. And I don't like that kind of stress. Thinking about that $6,000 stress stresses me out as well so I'm thinking that I'll just I feel good about I feel better about not paying that than I do about paying it oh my god a big old truck I feel much better about. Oh, it's, it's, it's too tight! Uh, too tight! Wow. I really don't like those barriers. So, trying to keep one stress at, at a distance brings on another kind. <laughs> What do I do without $6,000? I could go to a new car, which I'm in desperate need for. I wish the court, I wish the court wouldn't put me in this position because it's the court's fault. Not only do they stress me out with a crime, they also stress me out with the representation too. Oop. They stress me out a lot in a lot of different ways and I don't know how to to deal with that besides just having my heart race a whole bunch having my blood pressure go up, my heart rate go up that's the only way I know how to deal with it and try to fight back as best I can but I mean, I guess they hold all the cards. They hold all the advantage. So I'm at a loss for their mercy. <clears throat> Today, I wanna make it just simple. Just go to the library and hang out. Um, the courthouse, I just want to confirm that they uh, have my subpoenas. I just ask one more time from the prosecutor's office if they have the, uh, this evidence downloaded yet because they said they're downloading something. And, and uh, uh, they said they would email it to me but that hasn't quite happened. So, did they lose my emails? <clears throat> or what? What happened with the, the stuff? Because right away, if, if they email me clips from my YouTube channel, I want to start making a copyright claim against that I feel like <laughs> it was a missed opportunity in the uh, the Natchitoches courtroom when I saw pictures from my video put up by the prosecutor I didn't question the copyright 
I'll certainly be more inclined to question copyright with this court. That could be why they're hesitating giving me this, what they call 404B evidence. 404B evidence. So it's, it's evidence that they want to show of my past wrongdoings that I haven't been caught for that I'm guessing they would have prosecuted had they gotten wind of it in their jurisdiction here. They're, they want to prosecute me for stuff that happened in other jurisdictions and, and also <clears throat> and also um, the things that happened eight years before eight long years I'm getting associated with it so they want to associate me with things that happen over multiple jurisdictions and over multiple years that's my take. Huh. Wow. Is there nothing beneath the, the prosecutor? And this guy's running for judge. He's showing what he'll be like as a judge. People are willing to accept that? My God. To... To accept in the evidence things that happened years ago and across multiple jurisdictions across multiple states I mean he mentioned Minnesota things that happened in Minnesota he's willing he's willing to associate me for things that happen in Minnesota on my videos, of course. But he's not willing to question why the deputies can't keep their body cameras on. He don't question that. He don't even question their the deputies' records. He don't even question their records. I mean, yeah, if he's not gonna question records, why, sh why should I expect them to question the, the body cam policies, too? That's even worse. The minor things, the little things. But I think that maybe my prosecutor is like, has seen, thinks to himself that he's seen all of their stuff before. So... Why does he need to look again? He'd be looking again for the 10th, 20th, 30th time every time he uses these deputies' <clears throat> reputation. But for me, it's the first time, okay? It's the first. So, I need to see it. Don't play silly with me. <clears throat> you know I need to see it. I mean, I guess if uh, the prosecutor doesn't want to deal with that, just have me go straight to the sheriff. <laughs> I think it's kind of a lazy thing to do on their part. I, I uh, gotta say, it was interesting the strategy that my prosecutor in Williston, North Dakota took. She told everybody <laughs> to go through her. Granted, 
she is the city attorney, not the prosecutor outright. She does a lot more than prosecuting. She's even a judge in another jurisdiction, Taylor Olson. But I think the prosecutor could probably do what she's doing and say, even Cade Foster could make that announcement too. He could say, any requests, everything that you want to say, send it through me, no matter what it is. I'll deal with it. <laughs> tell the sheriff that. Tell YouTube followers that. That's how you play it safe. That's how you mitigate disasters. I think. I don't know how well it goes for, how well it went for Taylor Olson. But I gotta say, I do like the strategy. She's already in it. She was already in it at the time I had the, the criminal charge. She was already charging me. Anything that revolves around it, that evolves, that devolves, she wants to be on top of it. She wants to be the go-to, the go-to lawyer on everything. Never seen that happen with any other prosecution. And it could be the difference between a city prosecutor who's also private practice and somebody who's a public employee. Public employees tend not to say everything should go through them. They can only do so much, right? They're paid to only do so much. Why should they take on extra duties, responsibilities and all that? <sighs> so that's how it's, it's working out. So some things are being neglected in my case on the prosecutor's part. And we're gonna leave it up to the judge to decide. I hope, I expect the neglected stuff on the, uh, that's gonna be brought up, that the prosecutor's just not, not doing a good job on not covering. I hope the judge will just take my side on it. It's neglected, so take the defense's position, except the defense's position. 